Michael, um, what a game. How do you try and sum that one up? Um, I'm really proud of all the, all the boys, to be honest. I thought we were fantastic for the most part today. Um, to come here against a really, really good team and um, play like we did, cause them so many problems and be in such a good position to win the game. Um, really pleased with that. Disappointed the way it ended. Um, it's They've had two goals from 25 yards in the top corner and then, and, and then a bad goal from our point of view was the third goal, but um, other than that, I thought you were really good. Um, easy to say the penalty is a turning point. Is that how you see it as well? No, nah, not necessarily. I think we had a ch we had a chance or two before that as well to, to get the next goal. and um, You feel the energy in the stadium it's some, it's in, in, in some ways. I think the turning point was probably the second goal. He put it in the top corner from 25 yards. and. Um, and then, yeah, it swung a little bit. Still, I still fancied us to get a goal and score again, but we, we couldn't quite pull it off. Did they let it affect them a little bit, the team? Did you feel once the penalty was missed? No, not particularly. No, I think they're, they're a good team, a good players, you know, and they cause you problems. I think it just shows probably how well we had done for the rest of the game um, to keep them largely quiet. And then um, we've seen it before, you know, it's, it's when there's a bit of momentum, it's, it's not always easy to stop. But I still fancied us to to go down the other end and, 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 and maybe um, score a goal. We just couldn't pull it off, you know. And um, So we're disappointed, you know, with the result. I think we've had two games now against really good teams this week where we've been the best team and we've played really well. And um, we, we're disappointed we haven't had six points. So moving forward through the season, it's a, it's a real positive for us, I think, to, to know that we can do that. And just a last one from me, just in terms of your football in the first half, I mean, some of that was outstanding, wasn't it? Yeah, it's not easy, you know, to to go a goal down and then to 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 have that um, confidence and inner belief and um, that quality really to to do that. Um, so that, that side of things, I think that's what we'll take a lot from to to know what that's what we're capable of in a tough environment, tough situation against a really good team to to show that quality. Cheers, Michael. Yeah, difficult one to analyse in some ways. Talk about Norwich. I missed up, sorry, Watford the missed opportunity there, but they were probably two disappointing goals to concede. Whereas there. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, tough. It's it's swing. tough to look at, you know. I think we, we did limit them to to, to to not a lot for long periods. Um, I mean, two unbelievable strikes. The first one we could do something a little bit more about, I think, in terms of the build up and getting our, our pressing structure and closing off a space better a little bit. But still, he's, it's a hell of a hell of a hit, and um, the second one's even better. So, yeah, it's um, it's tough to take, but. I, I, in some ways, I'm smiling because there was so much good in there today, and, and, and um, to put us in that position, that um, to come here and do that's not easy. And it's hopefully the boys will take a lot from that to show how good they can be. But at some point, you're going to have to kind of find a way to turn those positives into more points. Yeah, we did on Wednesday, and we were fantastic today. So no stress. Uh, just on Tommy, it, obviously Miss Penley, but that shouldn't. It sounds a bit daft considering what happened, but should that maybe not overshadow what was it? Brilliant performance from him before. Oh, I definitely goals. won't overshadow it from our point of view. I think um, there's there's mo little moments in games that happen, you know, and um, he'd be Tommy's disappointed, um, but he's, he's fine at the same point. You know, I thought he was really good today. I thought all the boys were really good today, so we won't isolate one thing and make it overshadow the whole the whole uh, the whole day or the whole week. Really, um, it's a penalty that can go either way, and they've put two in the top corner from 25 yards. Football's football. Uh, horrible times, but it, it is what it is. And four points from two tough games. Can this be a springboard, really? Because you, when you point to that first 45, first 70 minutes, really, how good Yeah, that I think was. it shows how disappointed we are that we've not come away with all the points, really. And um, they've not lost you, if I'm right, for maybe a year or close to a year. So it's a tough place to come. So to come and play that and be bitterly disappointed um, shows um, how well the lads have done. So let's give up the change, bringing Anthony for Luke. What was the thinking there? Just a yeah, we've got good squad, we've got good players and um you know, there's a lot of games coming up, we need everybody and um just was the right thing to do today. And Anf was excellent, particularly in the first half. Can you justify that selection and somebody the... Yeah, I thought all the boys played well. I thought they all played a part, to be honest, and Anf particularly, yeah, done well. Um but I thought as a as a team, as individuals within the team, I thought we were really, really good today. Uh, just finally for me, Dale and Marcus, did they come through Friday night? Yeah, they pretty much, yeah. Pretty much, so we'll see what happens next with, with them too and, and make a decision on, on what's best for them. Will there be any more under-21s football for them or will you bring them back? We'll see, them? we'll see. Um, at this stage we'll have to see is Wednesday. Marcus is um, definitely going to play Wednesday. Um, Dale's a little bit, uh, we'll, we'll see how it goes a little bit, make a decision on that. So it's a good game for them at, at the Riverside. And, um, 
yeah, be interesting to watch and see how he does. Michael, there was some fantastic attacking play from your side, especially down the flanks, particularly down the right, in fact. Had you identified that in your game plan as, as an area where you thought you could hurt Norwich? Um, not not particularly. I think it's, um, we, we like to think we've got the options of, of going right, left or through the middle and, and then it kind of is up to the players a little bit and we give them the freedom to then go and sense that and, and, and feel where, where the space is to attack. Um, but I, thought, I thought we played some t particularly fantastic football at times today and um, got the rewards from it, you know, with goals and maybe had could have could have gone again and scored more. But um, so yeah, there's a bit of freedom in the play, with the players to, to go and attack from from the spaces that they see. And Aidan Morris and uh, Ben Doe look like they at this level will give most fullbacks uh, some serious headaches through the next few months. Is, is that how you see it as well? Yeah, Ben Ben Ben's dangerous. You know, we know that. We know what he's capable of, and he's still young and, and um, still got to be patient at times with him and and and, and help him develop. Um, I think Aidan's, Aidan's playing well. He's got a good partnership with, with Hayden in midfield. and um, The balance of the group is, seems really good at the moment. Um, we're doing a lot of good things. Is Tommy your normal penalty taker? It wasn't just one because he's on a hat-trick, we give it him? Or... No, no, he's taken one before. He scored before. Yeah. All right, Cheers. guys. Cheers. Cheers. See you in a bit.